from the start as young boys uh, playing pop one football, he would just always make plays at quarterback. And I just knew he was going to be something great. Well, first, first of all, I've always been an athlete. I play basketball. I play. I play anything. I've always been an athlete. And just, it was one morning. I just told my dad. I was like, I love waking up just to play football. Like that's all I want to do is just play football. And he was like, Son, you can be anything you want to be as long as you put your mind to it. And ever since then, I've just been, I've just been on it. Well, uh, you know, I watched Woody Barrett for years before that he came to West Orange. I uh, watched him uh, play at Evans High School his freshman and sophomore year, and I always thought he was a phenomenal runner. Uh, he has a super strong arm. I mean, he threw a 70-yard touchdown pass in a game, and uh, he threw it basically off his back foot. So, you know, he is uh, just a, a phenomenal talent, you know, running and throwing. Uh, it was one play against Apopka. Uh, he was rolling out. He was rolling out, and right before he got hit, he threw the ball to Jalen Julius. As soon as Jalen caught the ball, it was just wow. We all ran down. He was running with us, and we just all celebrated. So just know he's going to bring something good to the table. Well, the recruiting for Woody Bear was just its incredible because every school in the country is recruiting him. You got to think I had University of Miami call me probably six, seven times a week. You have Auburn, you know, have Coach, Coach Malzahn and Coach Lastly or uh, recruiting him, you know, just so hard. And then, you know, you have Nick Saban as well as uh, Lane Kiffin. And then you have Ohio State's entire staff recruiting him. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. You know, it's pretty fun to see those big dogs come through here and really put a, a lot of effort into Woody. And, you know, but every school in the country wanted to talk to him. The first time I met Gus Malzahn is he was talking to Tony Stevens. He seen me and I seen them. We just made eye contact and then it was like, Y'all know who that is? That's Gus Malzahn. I was like, what's up? And he was like, hey, you're my next quarterback? And I was like, maybe. You know, the thing that Woody, when he came uh, back from his official visit from Auburn, he said that he just felt so comfortable. He felt at home, and he felt like that uh, he could see himself there for four years. You know, he, he referred to the, team, the players at Auburn as his brothers. And I said, wow, Woody, that's pretty, that's pretty spectacular. You're only there for a weekend. He goes, Coach, I feel like that I've been around him for years. Oh, he made a great decision. When I was here being recruited with him as well, he was always talking about Auburn, Auburn, Auburn. And the way Woody plays, he reminds me of Cam Newton. So I think Auburn would be a great fit for him. Auburn's the type of school just like, despite anything, you know, they're there. And it's one big family, despite what we go through, despite what happens, everybody is one. And I just felt relaxed. I just felt home. I just felt at peace when I was at Auburn University. So that's why I committed. Um, my expectation of Woody when he gets to Auburn is he's gonna go in there and fit right in. Then I see him really competing for the starting position in the spring. I really do. Uh, once Woody feels comfortable and he can go out there and let his talent do what he's supposed to do, he can go out there and dominate. I mean, he dominated a high level here at 8 football here in Central Florida. And when he was locked in and he knew what, what the defense was gonna do and knew our expectation, he went out there and dominated. So I tell you what, Auburn's gonna get something really special.